Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share five quick keto breakfast ideas with you. They're all super quick, easy breakfasts that you can put together when you're just in a super rush in the morning. And as always, I've written a blog post, which I will leave down below, which has all of the recipes, all the information you need to make these easy breakfasts. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment to let me know your favorite keto breakfast ideas. So starting with today's breakfast, you only need these three ingredients. We've got eggs over there, grated cheese, you can use any cheese you like, and spinach. So we've got a bit of nice green healthy veg to start our day with and some cheese too, full of protein and all low carb and high in fat with, with the cheese and the eggs. But yeah, with the, this combination, you could make fried eggs and have some cheese on the side. Spinach, you can make an omelette, a cheese omelette with spinach. You could even make a scramble, scramble the eggs, add on the cheese and spinach to welt. There are loads of ideas, but I am going to make super crispy, cheesy fried eggs with sautéed spinach. So get out a frying pan and start by popping some grated cheese along the edges of the frying pan and then simply crack a couple of eggs over and then it's just a matter of watching and waiting until the eggs are cooked through and you have cheesy crispy bottomed eggs and then just move that off to a plate and for the spinach you can either throw it all into a frying pan let it wilt until it's <laughs> reduced down and pop that onto a plate or you could just serve it raw it is up to you but that is my beautiful breakfast crispy cheesy fried eggs with spinach it is super quick to make it takes mere minutes and you're enjoying a lovely low carb low carb high fat breakfast so that is this quick and easy low carb breakfast keep watching for loads more ideas so the next quick keto breakfast idea is this smoothie which has only three ingredients in and it just makes a brilliant quick grab and go breakfast so let me chat you through the ingredients quickly and then we'll just get making it. So I've got frozen raspberries over here. You can use fresh or frozen raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, any berries you like are usually low carb and keto diet friendly. And now in place of milk, I'm actually using coconut milk, which is rich, high in fat, low in carbs, got loads of nutrient. It really just, just, I love using it. You could use almond milk instead if you want to in the smoothie. And I'm using this organic whole milk natural yogurt, which if you look at the carbs per 100 grams, the carbs, it's 6.5, which sugars are 5.7. So 5.7 net carbs per 100 grams. We know you're not going to have 100 grams. Uh, we're going to probably have half of that. So just a few carbs for the whole smoothie. So usually a low carb yogurt is a whole natural yogurt like this. Greek yogurt, plain natural yogurt, those ones tend to be the lowest carb and it's good high fat and it's great nutrition. So we're just going to pop the ingredients together and make our smoothie. I'm going to start with a quarter of a cup of frozen raspberries going in there. I'm using my Nutribullet, so I'll just pop it in the cup, blend it all together. You could even drink it straight out of here as well if you want. And I'm keeping that quarter cup handy and I'm adding a quarter of a cup of yogurt. So it's a nice portion of yogurt. You're not putting too many carbs into it, but you're getting the love of nutrition and goodness from the yogurt in the smoothie. And now what I'm actually doing is going for a half a cup of coconut milk and adding two of the quarter cups and I find adding also just a quarter of a cup of water which I haven't included as an ingredient because if you're using almond milk go for three quarters of a cup of almond milk because this coconut milk is really thick and rich I like to just pop a bit of water in it just works perfectly in the this recipe so I'm just going to pop a quarter of a cup of fresh cold water into it as well there you go, just got final quarter of a cup of water going in. Now I'll just move it all around, I'll pop the lid on and pop it on to blend. Here we go, just pop it on to blend. There you go, and now we'll just pour it out into a glass. And here we go, we'll just pour it out into the glass. And that makes a beautiful smoothie, beautiful yogurt, 
Uh, there's loads of other ingredients you can add to it too. If you want to make it into a whole meal, you could add in some protein powder. If you find it a little bit sour, you can add in some stevia. Totally up to you, but that is my idea of a perfect smoothie with yogurt. It's nutritious. It's just so tasty, so lovely. Such a wonderful way to just combine three ingredients together and just get a lovely snack, sweet treat, or as I said, a whole meal. So that's my quick three ingredient breakfast smoothie. Keep watching for more quick keto breakfast ideas. The next breakfast is a make ahead chia pudding. I'm making a chocolate chia pudding in this instance, but you could make any chia pudding you want the night before, have it in the fridge and in the morning, you've got breakfast ready and waiting for you. So let me talk you through the ingredients and then we will get started. We've got cocoa powder for our lovely chocolate. Because I'm making this as a meal, I'm including some protein powder, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But yeah, the chocolate protein powder just makes it lovely. I've got stevia to sweeten. I've got my lovely chia seeds over there. And yes, you can definitely have chia on keto. They are little fiber nutrition powerhouses and just incredible. And we've got almond milk. I'm using almond milk as my milk of choice, but you can use any milk you like and we will measure everything out and get mixing. So I'm mixing everything together in a bowl, but you can feel free to do it in a mason jar or if you want it super smooth, you can use a blender and blend everything together instead. I'm going for a cup of my milk. Pop it into the bowl. I'm going to go for a nice generous tablespoon of cocoa powder as my chocolate flavor. And we'll give that a nice stir through to just help that chocolate dissolve a little bit. Okay, it's not perfect, but we'll get there. And that's up to you to sweeten how much you'd like. A teaspoon, two teaspoons of stevia. And then chia seeds. I'm going to go two lovely tablespoons of chia seeds. I'll give that a gentle stir through. If you want, you could pop it into a blender to make it super smooth. But uh, I just quite like mine nice and thickened. So next, we will add a scoop of protein powder. Now, obviously, if you're going to be strictly low-carb keto, then make sure you find a low-carb protein powder. So I've mixed my protein powder through. It smells pretty lovely and chocolatey. Just make sure everything is nicely mixed in and dissolved into your milk. And then we'll pop it in the fridge. This is great to make in the evening. Leave it be and in the morning you've got lovely chocolate chia pudding. But I will let this thicken for a few hours and show you what it looks like once we've got a lovely keto chocolate chia pudding breakfast bowl. My chocolate chia pudding has been in the fridge a few hours. You can take a look. It's thickened up beautifully. You can see if you go in with a spoon, it's a lovely pudding. It's almost like oatmeal, isn't it? It just makes such a lovely breakfast and you can enjoy it just like this or pop over a couple of sliced strawberries like that, maybe even some more chia seeds, some nuts. I'll leave blog posts down below which will have this recipe as lots of ideas as well as lots of ideas for toppings. I'm just always so excited by chocolate strawberries. It's just mm, such a yum breakfast. So that's my chocolate chia pudding breakfast bowl, which is a brilliant make ahead breakfast idea. And today's quick grab and go breakfast. Looks a bit messy, but I made some of my egg mayo, the recipe that I shared recently, and I've just filled some lettuce cups. So make some egg mayo night before, pop it in an airtight container, and then I've got some messy looking lettuce cups they've kind of gone everywhere some lettuce cups to enjoy as the super super quick breakfast that's low carb and keto friendly and my final quick keto breakfast is this breakfast plate full of breakfast goodies you can really just raid your fridge your pantry and put together a pretty plate full that you can either enjoy on a plate or pop it into a container to grab and go for breakfast so let me talk you through what is on my plate i've got a few lovely slices of smoked salmon over there there's some pieces of cheese i've just cut a bit of cheddar cheese i've got some pumpkin seeds for a bit of protein fiber and goodness some sliced cucumber just to add a bit of greens to my breakfast that is goat's cheese over there you can have goat's cheese feta i know i've got two types of cheeses you can just add any cheese you want and to bring it all together in the middle there is a bit of sour cream so i can dip the cucumber maybe the smoked salmon in roll it up 
it just adds a bit of healthy fat to make a nice quick low carb keto friendly breakfast which brings us to the end of this video with easy keto breakfast ideas that are super quick and super simple thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment to let me know your favorite quick keto breakfast ideas and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post, which actually has 20 quick keto breakfast ideas. So even more recipes and inspiration than you've seen in this video. So be sure to click through for that. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.